Good morning and welcome to Friday, February 21st, 2020. And today we're going to be reading out of the book of Psalms. Psalm 22, verse 27. And today's devotion is titled, All Nations Will Turn to God. So Psalm 22, 27 reads, All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. Every human is created with a desire to return to his creator. When Jesus Christ returns to set up his physical kingdom on earth, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He will return to claim what is rightfully his by right of creation and by right of purchase. He made it and he bought it. All creation will know its creator is present and give him worship as God. When I was a teenager, it was a custom for, a mother's, for mothers to remind their sons, just remember whose name you are carrying out there. If you do not behave, God will send a little birdie to tell me before you get home. After a few trials and failures, I realized what she had said was true. Now I realized that birdie was the Holy Spirit like he was God's truant officer who always has God's interest at heart. Since I was chicken where pain was involved, I finally submitted to those who had authority over my life. Philippians 2 verses 8 through 11 read, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And our final thought is, when Jesus returns, he will make everything right by God's standard. As ruler of the universe, he will not need man's permission. This is a reminder that even the unsaved, even the, even the demons, even the most evil of evil that exist in the world must and have no choice but to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, the Bible tells us in the book of James that even the devils believe and tremble. It's not a matter of whether you believe that God exists or doesn't. The reality is he does exist. The question is, do you accept what he's done for you so you may have eternal life? The demons rejected it, yet they still believe. But in their belief, they tremble. And there will become a day where every knee shall bow. That's saved, unsaved. All mankind will bow down to the Lord Jesus. Now the question is, do you want him to look down on you and say, well done, thou well, good and faithful servant? Or do you want him to look at you and say, flee from me, I never knew you, and send you off to eternal torment? It's totally up to you. It's a choice that only you can make for yourself. It's nothing, not a choice that anybody can make on your behalf. And today is the day to make that choice because you're not promised tomorrow to make that choice. So while you have breath in your lungs, today's the day to make that decision. So I hope that's been encouraging to you. Um, it's reality, and it, you know, it's 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 a sad thing when somebody procrastinates and procrastinates, and then it's too late. So if you're not saved, I encourage you to get saved. Turn to the Lord Jesus. If you are saved and you know somebody that's not, witness to them. Share with them your testimony, and hopefully you can plant those seeds to lead them toward salvation as well. So. Until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day. God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.